All right, we're back. Um, I'm back because uh, I'm going to respond to another comment. Um, so just on the on one of my videos recently, I've got a comment here that says, um, "Shading one panel does not take out the entire string." Why did you say that? Uh, all modern solar panels made in the last 20 years have bypass diodes. Shading one panel takes out only one panel. If you've paralleled strings, it will also reduce the other paralleled strings by roughly one panel each. But modern systems generally don't parallel strings anymore, as MPPTs have become cheap. Okay, so in in respect to the the video that we're talking about here, um, I was talking about these MPPTs having strings of, of solar panels on them, right? And the reason I'm talking about these um, is because these are specifically affected by the shading. Not those, these. So what I'm going to do is that one of the comments is um, that basically the string will drop by only one like panel's worth of power. That's simply not the case. And, and, it's, and I enjoy these sort of conversations because I think it dispels, it helps us to, to sort of understand what people's think about what's going on, what the common misconceptions are. With those, yeah, you're right, It's but it's not one panel. Uh, and that's not what's happening, right? What's happening is the algorithm in the MPPT sees a median voltage change and it changes the power point tracking like for maximum power point, right? So it doesn't matter that you've got a single MPPT and you've got two strings running into it. The median voltage of the, of the number of strings you have is what changes the potential like maximum power point. And I can, I can show it to you, because what I'll do is we're gonna use this one. Um, this one, to prove that it's not 25%, or sorry, to prove that it's not a single panel. If I lost a single panel and all the strings matched it, then the power output would drop by a third. But because I've got four strings, if I cover a single panel, I reckon we're gonna lose close to a quarter. So let's jump into it. Right, so we're just at 43%. Um, these panels are split into two, so if you only cover one side, the panel still has at least 50% of its performance. So what we're gonna do is cover it up like that. We've covered, well, not quite. We call that half, half the panel? Let's go and see what the performance difference is. Okay, so this, just testing this theory that um, when you shade a single panel in a string, does it affect the entire string or not? Now, what, what's important to note that my array is three panels in series, four in parallel, right? So if we shade a single panel in one of those strings, does that whole string become useless or does it just the power from that one solar panel? Now, I argue that actually a large percentage of that entire string goes, not just the one panel. And, and, and the reason I think that is that the MPPT is seeing an aggregate of the solar, like all the solar that's parallel together, not the individual panels, right? So they're, they're not micro inverters, they're, they're tracking a, like, they're just tracking the aggregate voltage and then current that's coming out of those panels to try and find the maximum power point. So if you shade a single panel in a string and you've got multiple strings aggregated together in a combiner box, you're gonna see an impact. So this doesn't seem like much. The, currently, the, each, the, each of the arrays is, is producing 37% uh, of its potential. And when we shaded one, it came down to 34. And you go, well, okay, that's roughly, probably roughly one panel, which it is. But then we come up to here. So 45% and then a drop down to 34.9 is 10. It, that, we've got 45. 10 is effectively a quarter of the production that we had and there's four strings. So like 90% of that string's output has disappeared. Uh, so like I, I appreciate I made his comment, but yeah, like if you, if you shade a string, the MPPT doesn't know that. It's taking a median of the voltage as the immediate, uh, as the immediate measurement and the current, current that's going through and trying to determine if it should go up or down. So when you've got one string drawing down all of them, you're gonna have a loss. And I don't think there's anything you can do about it. Um, I mean, there's blocking diodes in there and whatnot so that they can bypass a panel, but that, that itself has a voltage drop on it. So, um, you know, like if you parallel them together like this, this is, even, this is an even bigger argument for why you should just have one big single string instead of multiple small strings. You're losing more than one panel this way. So I'm, I'm, I've set a reminder for later. I'm going to go out and I'm going to check this when the production site looks like we just had some cloud cover come in. 
I'm going to go and remove that board and I'll come back later and see what the outcome was. Alright, so we're close to the maximum production of this thing for the day. At 63, it gets to about 71, so it's 67.3. Ooh, we've dropped off even further. So, 2988, and then I covered it, and it's dropped to 22, 2270, we'll go. So, 2988, take 2290, 698. So, we go... Um, 698 divided by 2988 uh, 0 0.233 times 100 so 23.3% by shading a single panel in in one of the strings of panels so there's still 11 panels out there but out of the four strings, we've dropped, our production's dropped by 23.3%. So you effectively lose the entire string. And it's not because the entire string is being lost, it's because the voltage is dropping on that string and the MPPT is, is seeing the median voltage and it's dropping as well. And I think that that's speculation on my behalf because I don't know how the actual um, MPPT arithmetic works, but I'm making an assumption there. But I also think the fact that one of the strings, is, and a solar panel is effectively an LED light, um, and I, I'm led to believe that if you apply power to them at night time, actually you'll see a small fucking purple glow coming out of it. So there's, it's not that power doesn't flow in the other direction, it's just so insignificant you barely notice it. But I think it would be enough to actually have an impact on here. So I'd be interested to hear what people have got to say in the comments, because um, that's not the outcome I expected. In the, the comment on my video, I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen again, um, was that, you know, like, I think I said something along the lines of, look, you, you've lost that string if you cover one panel. And you don't entirely lose it, but you get fairly bloody close, given that in this case, 25% would be one of the strings. So the maths I did previously was based on um, the, the performance drop across every individual string of, of solar panels. This time I've done it in total. Uh, I've decided to leave the video there. I, um, uh, I hope that sort of highlights what I was getting at. Um, when I said that you, you lose a panel and lose the string, it was a generalisation. Um, but given the level of data logging that we have on these, is is fairly significant. Losing 22.3% like of the production of the whole thing is significant because a single panel got shaded. I, I could speculate about the bypass diodes, I could speculate about the MPVT tracking, like you have 12 panels, you lose one. You know, two strings of 12, actually I've got two strings of six up here. I could speculate about why losing one in a big string like that, the bypass diodes you know, potentially save you more than they do here, but it would be speculation. The fact is that when I see these things shade anywhere, and I can, I can visually show it, um, we almost lose an entire string, right? And they're brand new panels. These, these two have got um, 12 panels each, just in two different configurations. So 3S4P, uh, 4S3P. Um, so maybe, maybe if um, if there's more information, if the if the post if the commenter I've blocked his name out, um, but I'll I'll be sure to tag him. Um, if he's got more information, and you think, I wonder what what would you estimate this one will be? Do we lose an entire string with this one? Because actually, this one has got a, a there's a tree shading one of the strings. I could go and chop the branches off the top of that tree and we'll see what the difference is with this one maybe. But yeah, this one, for sure. You, sh you shave one single panel, you lose that whole string. That whole string's productivity drops off. And the numbers don't work out for it to be one panel across the board, because if it was one panel across the board, um, we'd be seeing a third of the power drop off, right? Because you'd be losing one panel per string. So I don't. I think that's a misnomer. I think that someone's... You know, someone's witnessed that once and said, oh, well, it's, it looks roughly like the output dropped by one panel, therefore it's one panel. I think that's got more, more to do with the fact that those are high voltage strings um, and it's a median voltage across the two strings that you're seeing. I, I accidentally used the word aggregate earlier on. I'll make sure I mention that in the video. But um, yeah, I don't think it's the panel's behavior so much. I mean, outside, I'm absolutely certain that when one of them shaded, it becomes a point of resistance. I'm sure that it's wasting energy in some way, shape or form. Um, otherwise, on these large scales, why would they why would they do what they do? Like, you get these Fresenius Primos now, and they have two MPVTs in them, so each um, 
each array can be tracked independently and I think that's what pushes their, in, uh, their efficiency up. These things though, they don't have any smarts for that. There's no way for them to know. So anyway, if you're interested, if you, if you reckon this needs more, uh, you know, uh, investigation, I'm happy to go and chop those tree branches down. I need to do it anyway because I want my solar production back. But let's measure the difference on this one, which is 4S3P, and see if it's, are we going to lose an entire string or are we going to, like, just lose one panel's worth? I'm happy to do more. Anyway. So yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Um, let's keep the conversation uh, as positive as we can. I'll make an effort to respond to anybody's comment. Um, if, you, if you think I've got it wrong, tell me why you think I've got it wrong and I'll make an effort to respond to you. Um, and it's not about, it's not a witch hunt. We're not arguing, we're not fighting. We're sharing information so that we can all move forward uh, and have the most productive solar systems possible.